Hey, so hello, this is me, Cedric, Melissa, Victor, and Rachel. And the question that we researched was which are the most effective methods that the Hong Kong government could take to reduce the population in poverty or under the poverty line. Um, so the governments find that poverty is a problem, and so what they've done is they've invented the poverty line, which is generally a threshold of monthly income in which establishes either relative pover poverty or absolute poverty in which it's what you, how much you need to actually live in said region. Hong Kong in 2013 made um, a relative poor poverty line and um, it's currently at 3,600 Hong Kong dollars for a single person household. Um, so what we've done is we've researched the previously mentioned questions and explored multiple perspectives including welfare, employment, and education. So one strategy that we can do is we could raise the old age allowance. Uh, currently there are 1.2 million people over the age of 65 living in Hong Kong and about 50% of them are homeowners. Right now they are given 1,290 Hong Kong dollars a month and it is entirely possible using the 63 million, or billion, sorry, Hong Kong dollar budget surplus in 2015 which means the amount of money they didn't spend could be used to give those who do not own a house and are over the age of 65 8,000 Hong Kong dollars which would allow them to actually afford food or other things. Um, the second aspect that we took on was the welfare aspect and how you could improve different sorts of budgets. So the first, um, the first solution was to increase just the overall budget. As Hong Kong's welfare system is only accessible to people living under the poverty line, so in order to decrease this population, we should increase the amount of money that we give them. So in the past years, the Hong Kong government poverty report has shown a trend that as, as you increase money, the number of people living under the poverty line decreases. So in 2013, when the poverty poverty line was established, um, $56 million was budgeted into the welfare system. And two years later, as $6 million more million was added, a total of 30,000 people exited the welfare system, meaning that they started living over the poverty line. A limitation of this is that it could reduce incentive to work as people could try to live off this salary and not actually go to work. The second way that we can improve welfare is to only improve the health welfare aspect. As 78.4% of the demographic are elders, disabled, or ill health people, and they cannot get jobs because their health is really bad. Um, there are two professors, Barbara Starfield and Anne Byrne from the University of Toronto and John Hopkins, um, and they did a medical journal report on how universal programs were favored over private programs because they uh, give equal care but with a cheaper price. And in the University of Oslo in Norway, professors did a research um, starting in 1999 on 14,000 adolescents, and 95% of these adolescents um, use the health welfare system uh, more than once. And as health welfare was increased in their country, the number of people as they went on in life that used the health welfare system decreased to around 17%. A limitation of this is that it only favors the elderly demographic, so it wouldn't really give a long-term plan, just a short-term plan. And finally, we can increase the child welfare. So the National Bureau of Economic Research wrote a report on how poverty and maltreatment of children go hand in hand. In the University of California at Berkeley, um, they did a case study on how welfare reform changes in the Bay Area decrease the maltreatment of children. And maltreatment of children is a problem in Hong Kong as 874 uh, case, cases of abuse was reported in December 2015. And as these kids are abused, they cannot focus on their education, so services and more money could be provided for these children to receive a good quality education. And a limitation of this is that it focuses on the smaller demographic and it's very long term as these children still need to go through education and get a quality job to see the results. Another aspect that we considered our, prob our research question in is the employment aspect. 
The unemployment rate in Hong Kong is currently 3.4%, which is not high as a developed country. So one of the main causes of poverty is not the unemployment rate, but it's the insufficient quality jobs instead. So the, fir the first strategy we proposed was to create more quality jobs by relocating businesses or factories back to Hong Kong while expanding existing ones, especially in rural areas because Sham Shui Po, which is in suburban Hong Kong, has the highest poverty rate of 18%. And a successful case can be seen through an, a report released by the International Economic Development Council where they showed that when Ponca City in Oklahoma provided, um, expanded their existing businesses and enhanced their competitiveness, this resulted in a lowered unemployment rate of 6.1% in 2016. However, a limitation of this strategy is that um, the suburban Hong Kong might not be the most ideal environment for businesses to be set up in. So the second strategy was to provide specialized training and education because even though government and businesses work together in creating more high paying jobs, workers themselves need to enhance their skills and knowledge through skill development programs. A successful case can be seen through a paper released by the International Labor Organization and they showed that when Cambodia provided training to over 8,000 people from 1993 to 1999, this um, follow-up survey showed that 82% of them used their new skills and earned a higher monthly average income of 33 US dollars. However, this would be a very time-consuming and costly method to be implemented in Hong Kong since Oxfam Hong Kong estimated there to be 190,000 working poor families in 2014. All right, so the perspective um, I researched on was the educational perspective. And surprisingly, after researching on so much on um, this aspect, it's not considered as one of the main solutions. Although um, most sites come up with short-term solutions regarding their solutions like housing, business, and job quality, not acknowledging the impact education could make um, for the future of Hong Kong. So instead of just focusing on the short-term solutions, the government must look into the roots of the issue. They must start by targeting the youth of Hong Kong and improving and investing more into greater e quality education so the future of Hong Kong can hop over the poverty line. So one of the first solutions, um, as we can look here, as Melissa said, the unemployment rate is not that bad. It's at 3.3%. But if you look specifically at the ages between, for people ages between 15 and 24, it rises up to 94 so, and even if these um, young people get employed, it's common that they engage in hard labor due to the lack of quality education. So by investing more in education, um, in education, it creates greater opportunities for the youth, then the unemployment rate will start to decrease. And as that decreases, the amount of people under the poverty line will do so too. It's easier said than done though, because there are many aspects of education you can improve. One of the first ones is, um, the enhancement of the language standard, and this creates a bridge of opportunities for the youth and gives them a shot at global business. The language demands for employees have outstripped the number of graduates and workers. There is a growing demand for employees a certain required level of knowledge on languages. Intru introducing the languages to the youth early will help raise the language standard. Then the struggles of unemployment graduates feed the demand of workers with good language skills, giving them more options in terms of employment and securing long-term jobs. The next solution is um, the improvement of professional enhancements of the teaching force. And there are many ways to improve the professional enhancement of teachers. First, enhance the qualifications of teachers. With doing so, you can strengthen the effectiveness of higher education for the youth. The government needs to start by setting the bar by raising the percentage of qualified teachers. Overall, these specific areas of improvement could stop the youth from engaging in hard labor and securing long-term jobs rather than short-term. And these improvements could lead to hard, a huge decrease in the population of people under the poverty line in the future. After synthesizing information our, in our various aspects, our group has reached a conclusion that the most effective strategy to re reduce poverty in Hong Kong would be education. The government should increase the overall welfare budget and the funding towards higher education, not only for the students, but also for the working population. Because education and training is essential for them to find more high quality jobs. But on top of providing education and more welfare, the quality of education itself should be improved, perhaps by um, improving school facilities or hiring new teachers, which would in turn create more economic opportunities. Thank you. this 
group do you think enhanced your ability to work in, in group settings? I guess uh, something that it has helped me do is it's helped me understand the value of communication because that was a problem that we had in this group um, because we might have like three people online and we would have a talk and the one person wouldn't be available or there was a time when I had a problem during the research um, part of it and I tried to make contact and there wasn't anyone available. So I now realize that having multiple forms of contact is quite valuable. Okay. Um, Rachel, how has working with gained a new perspective because I knew that Hong Kong had a huge um, like population that were that was living under the poverty line but I didn't realize how serious this problem was and um, how hard it was to find a solution because um, when Cedric was talking about how he had a problem in his research he didn't know which perspective to look at because there weren't many perspectives as the Hong Kong government hadn't done much about this issue so it definitely opened my eyes to the community around me because um, I didn't realize that the growing demographic of these people were elderly people, were elderly that they couldn't do anything about it. So it definitely opened my eyes to what should be done about the poverty line. Um, Melissa, in pulling your reports together from the Um, so like when we were making our slides or the, okay. Um, I think because Victor and I kind of had very similar aspects and like points of views because he considered education and I did employment, even though it might seem like they would never intersect, but then, um, he, he was kind of the basis because people have to be educated in order to find qual quality jobs. So that kind of led to my perspective. But then um, when we made our group slides, um, Rachel and Cedric's perspectives were really similar and they kind of showed me a totally different aspect to answer this question because what I originally w was researching was to improve, like to find, to help people become more independent by ha um, having higher income, better job qualities. But then what they were considering was for the government to help people, so like basically that was a very different perspective and that kind of formed our whole entire presentation. Okay, great. Um, and then Victor, can, can you answer the, the gap question? So if you guys had more time or you had more resources to um, do some more research about this, mm -hmm. what gap would you, you feel like you guys would have filled? I mean, now that we know that education is like the solution, I guess, mm -hmm we can look into more of the different aspects of education and how to improve that. Because online, there's, it was really hard for me to research like the educational aspects. Like not many people, like I said, not many people consider it as one of the solutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 